Okay, we're at day eight of the Ray Buck 53 Chevy pickup uh, shop truck build. We have the front suspension in, or actually the uh, cross member and all the supports. It's all done, but we fitted everything up and uh, everything looks good so far. We did have to do a little bit of modification to the front. Uh, as you can see, we did have to cut out the uh, frame or notch the frame to fit the uh, power rack. And so that took a little bit of extra time. And then we notched uh, the inside of the cross member a little bit too and uh, cleaned that up. So we have a little bit more room for the uh, steering linkage. So that uh, took a little bit of time, but it was worth it. Give us some extra clearance. So today we are working on the floor on the driver's side as well as the lower cowl area. Uh, after closer inspection, we decided to just replace a lot of these floor, the two floor pans, um, have a bunch of holes. We started cleaning it up and it's a little bit more like Swiss cheese than we liked. Uh, this is kind of what the other side looked like. So we cut it all out. You can see there's the new floor pan. Um, we pretty much just used the whole pan, just figured heck with it and stuck that in and that lower uh, kick plate and stuck that in as well. We're going to do the same thing on the passenger side. So we got those all tacked in and um, we're going to go into work on that outer cow area today. So here again from the other side you can kind of see how everything lines up. You got uh, everything's in line here. All the holes lined up um, even down to uh, you know a lot of the uh, the grooves in the floor. So now we're going to work on this outer section. We have uh, our lower inner fender. We're going to stick that in today, and then the uh, this whole outer cowl area we're going to replace because the bottom is uh, is pretty much gone down in here, like they typically rot out. So we're going to do that, and then uh, hopefully we'll get another uh, video or a couple of quick pictures when this is all in place.